OK, let's do one example of using Euclid's algorithm backwards on a case where the highest common factor is not 1. So let's try 69 and 48. 69 and 48. So let's see what the highest common factor is, first of all. Well, 69 is 3 times 13, right? And 48 is 4 times 12, so that's uh, 4 times 12, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Did I do that right? 2, 4, 2, 4, 8, 16 times 3. Right, so the highest common factor must be 3. So let's just stare at it for a while and think about whether we would be able, by staring, to make some number of 69s and some number of 48s into 3. Hmm. Can you do it? I don't think I can. So let's try running Euclid's algorithm. Right, so first we take 69 and we do a division with remainder on 48. Well, 48 can only go into there once, can't it? So that's 148. And what's our leftover? Our leftover is going to be 21. So now we take this 48 over here and we see how many times we can make 21 go into it. Well, that's only going to go twice, isn't it? 2 times 21 is 42 and we're going to have 6 left over. And now we take our 21 over there and we say, how many times does 6 go into 21? Well, that goes 3 times and that gives us 18, so our leftover is 3. And then finally we say, we take our 6 over there and we say 6 is 2 times 3 with no remainder and that means that our last remainder, 3, was the highest common factor. So indeed the highest common factor is 3. So what we're looking for is some number of 69s together with some number of 48s making 3. And we're going to just put the numbers, do, do this uh, backwards thing again. So from the first row, we get 21 is 69 minus 1 times 48. From the second row, we get 6 equals 48 minus 2 times 21. But we've got 21 already, so that's 48 minus 2 times that lot, 69 minus 48. So now let's gather all our 48s together. We've got three 48s minus two 69s. Right, so now we take this row. And that gives us three, right, this is the, the final moment, because we are trying to get three in terms of some other stuff. So that's 21 minus three times six. So we plug in our value for 21, which is 69 minus 48. And we take away three times our value for six, which is this. So that's three 48 minus two 69s, right? So that's gone into there as our value for six. And now we can gather together our 69s and our 48s and see if we did it right. Okay, so let's start with our 69s. Um, we've got three, hmm, we've got three twos, two threes are six, so that's one over here and six over there, so that's seven. 69s, and then we've got minus 148, and we've got minus 948, so that's minus 10. 48. So in theory now, we've got an expression of 3 in terms of 69s and 48s. So let's just see if we did it right, shall we? Well, what's 7 times 69? That's almost 7 times 70. 7 times 70 is 490. 
And then we take off a 7, because we did it a bit, so that's 483. So this part is 483. Fortunately, the other part is easier, because it's 10 times 48, which is, of course, 480. So we've got 483 minus 480, and that really is 3. So we've got ourselves an expression of the highest common factor of 69 and 48 in terms of some combination of 69s and 48. So I hope you can now see that you would be able to do this for any numbers and their highest common factor. You start by running Euclid's algorithm forwards, and then you kind of plug the numbers back in or do it backwards or something like that to produce the numbers at the end. And this is quite useful for some things.